We need to find the potential difference between the left and right plates of each of these capacitors. So now both the capacitors are in series. So the charges are going to be same. So let's assume this is plus Q. So this is minus Q and this is going to be plus Q then and this is minus Q. So let's assume E2 is greater than E1. So right plate of C2 will get plus Q charge. So all these are variables, so it doesn't matter, but still we have to start somewhere. So we are assuming E2 is greater than E1. So that we have a plus charge here, plus Q and minus Q here and so on. So for the system, the both capacitors are in series and both batteries are also in series. So equivalent capacitance is C1, C2 by C1 plus C2 and equivalent EMF is E2 minus E1 because this is oriented in a reverse way. So from here we can directly find Q which is C equivalent into V equivalent and this is our answer charge of each capacitor. Now here he is asking the potential difference between left and the right plates. So if we have found the charge potential difference is simply from left to right it's going to be Q by C1. So that is the potential difference across one and potential difference across two. So again from left right. So he's asking the uh, between the left and the right plates so from between left and right is going to be minus Q by C2. So that is V2 which he is asking. So put the value of Q here and get our answers.